Yo, what's up, guys? This is Hunter the Red Dragon. I am here today to bring you guys my live reaction for the first episode of Carnival Phantasm. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. So, here we go. Oh, whoops. Ah, this is basically just me redoing this because I had originally done a live reaction of this entire series, but because of my old channel is gone, I decided to once again do a live reaction to it. It don't sell marble tofu. I know who was calling too, it was Kirei. That was who just called. <laughs> The carnival is starting. The greatest type moon party of all time. <laughs> the carnival begins. Wild. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Grail War. Yes, yes. Saber, Saber Lancer, Archer, Archer, Rider, Casta, Assassin, Assassin, Avenger, Ruler, Alter Ego. Uh, foreigner, Shielder, let's get all the extra ones in there too. I think I said, did I say ruler? I hope I did. <laughs> what is this? The Holy Grail War is a... Uh, it's one of those um game shows. <laughs> oh god. It's a game show hosted by Ilya and Kotomine. All the type moon casts are there. Not only the Tsukihime and fake characters, but other characters as well. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Berserker. This is Lancer. Good guy Lancer. <laughs> Let's go. He still can't leave the freaking. <sighs> I guess because they didn't want to spoil like they had them. Oh shit. Why'd you get that close to him? <laughs> oh my god. Why is Saber? <laughs> Ren is too... Ren is two-faced. <laughs> <laughs> I feel your pain, Kire. I feel your pain. <laughs> Card match. <laughs> What the hell does that have to What the hell does that have to do with flipping a car, dude? I feel your pain, Red. I feel your pain. Okay. Tennis? 
That is way too much muscle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Shit. She almost got her head taken off. <laughs> <I'm so cracking. laughs> <laughs> what the okay. I like those little style cards that they have too. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> What? Gate of Babylon. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> really? <laughs> the king's game. <laughs> 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 they couldn't play. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening? Oh no. Uh yes. And here comes your heavens feel reference. Not right right here, boy. The Holy Grail? Here it is. The heavens feel reference. <laughs> oh shit. But wait, where's Kure at the end though? Why is Kure just standing there? That's yeah. <laughs> 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 they released. Okay, this part was fucking random, I swear. Receive him. And where the hell did all those copies come from? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This part is gonna come up again, so we need to make sure we pay attention to that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, he is. An arc waiter just there. She's like, "This is fun, but what the hell just happened?" <laughs> Uh, we need to pay attention to this entire scene. The true ancestor. Phantasm Moon! Uh -uh. The demon Akiha. What the hell? <laughs> Rin. <laughs> the Taiga Dojo. <laughs> Taiga is crazy. 
<laughs> Will you stop? The budget! No! Oh shit, that's a lot of money. I just hear the money just wasting away. Ah! Melty blood. A game that I actually have and I'm gonna have to actually get to now that I have it on Steam. So that was hilarious. <laughs> oh man, I missed this series so much. It's been, let me see, what, two? No, it's been literally, I think, four years since I've actually watched this series. Because if I remember correctly, I did a live reaction of this series back in, I think, either 2005, uh, 2015 or 2016. So, thoroughly miss this series. So, first of all, I'm going to say this. This first episode is going to come back and we're going to see it from a different perspective. So, make sure all of you guys pay a special attention to that scene where Shiro basically cut the Holy Grail and it morphed into like a rocket and launched his ass off. Uh, my God, there's so many references to this. So, first of all, my favorite reference, of course, is the Lancer die, you're not even human, which is basically a South Park reference to the part every time they kill Kenny, they would say, oh my god, you killed Kenny, you bastard. <laughs> that scene is always freaking priceless, especially when it does, when it comes to Lancer, because of the fact that Lancer has E rank lunk to the point where he always, Lancers always die the worst in the Fate franchise, so that is the reason why they make that joke because Lancer is the Kenny of the fake franchise. <laughs> oh my god. And then of course seeing Caster without her cloak and you see how adorable she actually looks. We have Ren talking about how she's going to be doing dirty tactics but when she when it comes to the um, media or when she's um, interacting with people she has a different personality to how she normally is which is basically i don't think anybody actually not a lot of people actually notice this and i don't think i um noticed this originally but when ren is, when ren is like um when she's out and about and she just living her normal life she has her normal personality the kind upper class good girl whole routine like the the sit the um the popular girl in school routine but then when she is in the holy grail war and when she's around people that she trusts she actually shows her true colors and that's the whole play with this thing where you see ren is one way but then when it comes to grail and when it comes to people she interacts with she's another way so you see her two personalities so that's why that's the reason why i called her two face <laughs> in this so yeah that's thing and then the whole thing with Sasaki Kojiro he couldn't appear because of the fact that he's trapped to the temple grounds and so because of that they had um Caster had to literally bring a cut out of him and then they show Caster how she's like super infatuated with her master that's why she calls him Sojiro Sama and the way she does and Berserker just the whole thing with Berserker is that he's just massive and can't control his own thing and can't speak normally so he just just basically monster like hulked out all the time and they don't know what to do with him <laughs> oh my god so many good references and then the whole thing with um arc Wade is that she's basically phantasm moon is basically a parody of as everybody can tell sailor moon but and then they always they play up her they play up the fact that her and Ageha are rivals for Shiki's affection like they're both love rivals so of course Arcway's whole personality is that she basically spends the entire time talking mad shit about the sister even though that's even though she's really not that bad so yeah those are the main main jokes if there are any other jokes that I didn't um, comment on make sure to tell me down in the comment section below and we'll talk about them as well and tell me what you guys thought about this episode 
this is thoroughly enjoyable i enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction so this has been hunter the ray dragon make sure you guys leave me likes and comments as i stated before make sure you guys click that notification bell when you subscribe and i hope to see all of you guys during my next live reaction and make sure you guys check out all of my other videos this has been hunter ray dragon and i'm signing out i will see you guys later